right? Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, by Shema Kakodash. And give double honors to the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the Hope Land since they elect. This is Marcus from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do all the edification for the elect's sake. All right, and the name of this video will be entitled Suspense. All right, because basically, being in the truth, we in suspense. All right, when I say we in suspense, now we know the signs at the times, we know that we in the last times because you know we see the prophecies, you know, fulfilling before our eyes. All right, but guess what? It have things that promise unto us that the Lord haven't even told us. And whereas he told us, he haven't even told us the full magnitude. All right? So we still under suspense because guess what? The, the things that promise unto us be that we part of the hopefully elect, it can far exceed, it can far exceed where we even thought it was. We could envision the kingdom as much as we want, but the kingdom gonna be so much more. We could imagine the salvation. All right? For what we think it is according to scriptures, but the salvation is gonna be so much more. Alright. So I just wanted to get into the scriptures real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4. It says, For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither had seen O Yahweh besides thee what he had prepared for him that waited for him. Alright? So we only have a small idea. Or what the kingdom gonna be like all right from the scriptures and guess what this the, when we, we be, be that we part of the hopefully like when we enter into the kingdom the kingdom is gonna be so much more than what we taught it to be the kingdom gonna be so so grand so extravagant so brilliant all right it's it, it not gonna be anything that we ever looked for all right it's not going to be anything we look for. Alright. I will bring this scripture here real quick. This is. um, This wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon chapter. Um, 5 verse 1. It says. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. And made no account of his labors. When they see it. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So, guess what? If two thirds, all right, and these nations are gonna be amazed about the salvation that we're gonna receive, all right, the manner in which Yahweh is gonna take us, guess what? Even we will be surprised. We have an idea what's gonna happen to America during the time of its destruction. But guess what the scripture said? The remnants saw it and were frightened. So now we're expecting what to see. But for us to be affrighted, it has to be so much more than we thought. Actually seeing it is even, is, is like, as Paul said in, in Corinthians. Um, let me read it real quick. This is, um, this is 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9, it says, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. Yes, so we, we, we know part of what the kingdom is going to look like. All right? But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Then we're going to see what the kingdom is going to be like. All right? Then we're going to know what it is to eat real food and breathe real air and drink real water. To know what it is to be kings. As I said, all we're doing right now is imagining what these things are going to be like. But when we actually experiencing it, it's going to be so much more than what we taught it to be. It's going to be so much more than what we taught it to be. All right? We're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to stand in awe. All right? Jumping down to verse 12, it says, For now we see through a glass darkly. All right? As the scriptures talk about dark sins. But then face to face. No, I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. All right? So guess what? Hey, all we 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 ain't gonna be guessing what the kingdom gonna look like very soon because hey, we seen the prophecies coming to pass. So soon we're gonna be in the kingdom. 
be that we part to the hopefully elect. And as I said, hopeful. Because guess what? That's another suspense. We don't even know if we part of the elect. We hoping to be part of the elect. We hoping to be part of the elect. We hoping that we could be saved. So this whole thing is just suspense. So we just laboring, hoping that we're going to inherit the kingdom. We are certain that Yahweh Shai is the name of, the, of our Savior. We are certain Yahweh is his father's name. We are certain Israel is his only and chosen people. We are certain that we're going to inherit the kingdom. But as far as being part of the elect, we, we, it's, it's all about hope. It's all about hope. All right? This is Ecclesiasticus. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 16. Um, I start at verse 20. It says, No heart can think upon these things worthily, and who is able to conceive his ways? It is a tempest which no man can see, for the most part of his works are hid. All right? The most parts of the most high works are hid. All right? The things that the Lord do, the things that the Lord prepared for the script, the scripture said the kingdom is already prepared for us. We only guessing what the kingdom is going to be like. All right? We guessing what chariot going to look like close up, let alone how the inside of the chariot going to be. All right? We guessing how angels going to look. Hey, let alone Yahweh Shai. All right? But guess what? They, these things, these things going to be so much more greater than what we actually think it. We, hey, right now, there's like, there's like, um, being in the truth is like a series. All right? And the way the series ends, it always ends in suspense. You're always yearning to know, well, wait, what the next see? What's going to happen in the next series? Or the next edition, you always you want to it like you have you excited because that really word suspense means to be excited, all right. You always you always want to know, and the thing is, when the series finish, they will actually give you previews of what gonna come in the next in the next series in the next episode. So you you excited, you want you want to see it, you know you 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 want to you design to see what gonna come. And guess what? By the Lord giving us prophecies. All right, it's like giving us, you know, a, an exclusive scoop of what's coming, but not the whole scoop. So then when it happens, hey, we're going to be like, wow. Like, you know, it's like, it's like where we in the kill is like, hey, we, we never knew none of these things. It's like we never knew because they're going to so far exceed that what we thought it was. All right. This is um second Ezra. All right. This is Second Ezra, chapter four. Second Ezra, chapter four, verse twenty-six. It says, "Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasted fast to pass away, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come." For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. So guess what? You can't begin to comprehend the things that Yahweh Hashem Shai promised unto us. All right? As Paul said, he saw in the third heaven things that are unlawful for man to speak. Things that he couldn't even put in words. It don't even have words in the English to describe the kingdom. It don't even have words. I was I, I, I speaking on, on something that happened to me when I just came into the truth. All right? I had a dream that I was fighting a battle. All right? And I overcame. I won the battle. It was me against a whole army. And I won. And I stood on top of the mountain. Now, this dream that I have, I was, it was like but weeks in the truth. I, didn't, I, I knew the name was Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but I never got the breakdown on how to break down the names i just believed that that was the name and this dream confirmed to me that this was the name of the most and his son after i won the battle on the top of the mountain i stood with my hands up and i gave glory i said oh praises to yahweh shemi shai and a feeling overtook me and I, I can't explain the feeling it was like a, 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 a chill but like it was like it's like the, the Mosai was was giving me super super power. 
all right my body was changed but i can't exp i can't fully explain the feeling i know the feeling but to put it in words it hard all right and it's the same thing the kingdom is to explain the kingdom it's gonna be hard to explain the kingdom in in, in english all right we're gonna stand in awe when we see these things we in suspense right now when these things come to pass we're gonna stand in awe all right we're gonna still be surprised when we see Esau's destruction, let alone when we enslave the nations. We can we know it gonna happen, but guess what? We still gonna be like, like wow, when these things come to pass. Alright? We still gonna be at at, at, at wow. Alright. This is Romans. And as I said, guess what? We don't even know that we part of the elect. We hoping. So even that and all is a suspense. This is Romans chapter 8 verse 24. For we are saved by hope. But hope is that a seen is no hope. So if the Lord showed us actually with the kingdom going to be like and give us the full scope. Guess what? We wouldn't hope. Because all right, cool. We're going to inherit this, all right? And let us know that we part to the elect. All right, cool. I'm part to the elect. So I don't need to do nothing. Guess what? It wouldn't be that much of a surprise. All right? But when the hope is like you, you actually just giving you a small taste, a small taste of what really coming. But the thing that really coming, the real thing, it actually gonna far exceed as as the angel told um, Ezra, um, is like a drop compared to the sea. All right, a drop of water compared to the sea, it gonna be so much more. All right. It says, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patient wait for it and we patiently wait to inherit it. All right? We hoping to inherit this kingdom. All right? We hoping. So that is why Paul said we have to do this thing lawfully. All right? And not against our will because guess what? We don't even know we part of the elect. So that is where we are to pray in this work. This is Tobit chapter 13 verse 6. It says, if we turn to him with your whole heart, and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. All right? Um, it says, Therefore, see what he will do with, um, do with you and confess him with your whole mouth, which we're doing right now. And praise the Lord of might and extol the everlasting king. In the land of my captivity, do I praise him and declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation? O ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? We can't tell. So that is why we're hoping. We have to turn to the Lord. The Lord said in Isaiah 55, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous his thoughts. We have to do that. All right? That is our duty. But who knows if the Lord will have mercy on us and deliver us. So therefore, be even being part of the elect is, 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 is suspense. Hey, the Lord have us in a lot of suspense. But guess what? That actually makes this thing even more better. Because when it all comes down to the end, you being in your spiritual body, you actually experiencing spiritual power. You seeing your house, shall you be in the kingdom? You experience any things of the kingdom, it can far exceed. Trust me, it can far exceed where we actually think it is. We're gonna be surprised with everything that's coming on us. We're gonna be surprised. Even the salvation, we're gonna be surprised. And we hey, we we know we could tell you what the salvation is. Yeah, how coming and he gonna beam us up, but it it's it gonna be so much more than we be taught. Alright? It's gonna be so much more. That we be taught it to be. Alright? So we have to we have to stay on hope. Because as I said, we don't even know if we part of the elect. So we have to try our best to make it into the kingdom. Alright? We have to try our best. Alright? This is Ecclesiasticus. Hey, and I've been looking for this precept for, for two days now. And I actually found it this morning. I woke up five o'clock this morning looking for it. And I actually found it. All right, so praise is there about Shemi and Shai that I could actually do the video right now. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 43, verse 30. It says, When ye glorify 
Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, exalt, extol him, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet will he far exceed. So the most high himself exceeding your, your glorification, but do it to the best of your ability. It says, and when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Because as the scripture said, the most parts of his work are hid. It says, who had seen him that he might tell us? Or who can magnify him as he is? All right? You can't. So when you see Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, then you'll understand why these angels worship the Lord day and night. Verse 32, it says, There are yet hid greater things than these be. For we have seen but a few of his works. We have seen but a few of his works. What we see right now, guess what? It have greater things to come. We have only seen a few of the works of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Think about one of the galaxies. Think about the kingdom. All right? Reading, just reading from the scriptures. It's just, a, it's, a, a, it's just seen through a dark glass. But when you're actually seeing these things face to face, a, a grand fire exceed. As Paul said, it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when he come, we shall see him as he is. All right? So it don't even appear yet what we shall be. We don't even know how we're going to look in our spiritual bodies. We don't know what our spiritual bodies will look like. All right? But we're hoping to inherit it. All right? We hope to inherit it, but guess what, hey, br brothers, just, just hold on, all right? Hold on, because guess what? The things are coming, it, it wouldn't be a waste. The scripture says that you would not be ashamed that wait for him. We would not be ashamed that wait for him, all right? It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it, believe me. The kingdom, the hardship that we're going through right now, it's worth it, all right? Believe me, it's worth it. This is... um. The book of Job, chapter 26, verse 7. It says, He stretched it out the north over the empty place and hanged the earth upon nothing. He binded up waters in his thick clouds, and the cloud is not rent under them. He holded back the face of his throne and spread his cloud upon it. He had come past the waters with bounds till the day and night come to an end. The pillars of the heaven tremble and are astonished at his reproof. He divided the sea with his power, and by his understanding he smited through the proud. By his spirit he had garnished the heavens. His hand had formed the crooked serpents. Lo, these are parts of his ways. But how little a portion is heard of him. But the thunder of his power, who can understand? They said how little a portion is known of him. So when you think you, you have an idea or you know the kingdom, going to be like, nah. The kingdom is going to exceed what you think it is by a thousandfold. Alright? By a thousandfold. Alright? Hey, as I said that this was the last precept. But guess what? Let me read something here. Alright? Um, this is Isaiah chapter 60 verse 5. I said that verse, verse 4. It says, Lift up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because of the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. So it says your heart good and fear. You're going to be like, wow, like, wow, all this is mine? This is the kingdom? This, 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 is, this is really it? I can't believe this is it. Hey, this is how we're going to be in the kingdom. We're going to be astonished. We're going to be like, wow. And despite we reading what 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 what's going to take place, we're going to still be in awe. All right? We're in suspense right now, but when the things really come, guess what? We're going to stand at awe. The scripture said it will stand at awe of him. All right? So just hold on. Don't give up. All right? Because base, trust me, waiting on your how about Shimmy and Shai, it will take. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rekha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who do not rule well. Salutations to the man of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makazar Sin. Shalom.